this. This is really cute. This is a baby dragon space capsule, not obviously, you know, the dragon dragon, but uh, the SpaceX dragon space capsule downloaded from Thingiverse and I printed it on my MakerBot. It's really little. There's a problem with it. Well, the problem with it is it's really little. The other problem with it is I don't remember what scale it is. I'm supposed to remember these things, yes. I, generally, I when I rescale the models, the STL files, in uh, Replicator G, I'll save a copy of it as the name of whatever it is that I've done. So if I scaled it down to one quarter, I would call it Dragon Capsule One Quarter. I didn't do that with this one. I don't know how big it is. There's other pieces to this model. There's a trunk and there's solar arrays. I don't know how big this is. I don't know what scale to scale the other pieces in order to build it right. And it's really cute and it's really little and it printed really well. Well, well, except for that part, you know, right there in the front, uh, it didn't come out all that great. That's because I scaled it down so far, that top got really, really thin, and uh, Replicator G just kind of couldn't handle it. So, I made a bigger one. And here you can see, right there, my MakerBot, along with the little tiny, cute baby dragon, and his very much bigger brother. That guy took eight hours to print. Oh, that came out nice and clean. This came out beautiful. Even the top printed right. Nice and smooth. Two tenths of a millimeter per layer. It's 15% uh, filled because I wanted to make sure that uh, the fill actually would provide uh, good support for this top. So it's got some mass to it. I mean, uh, usually these things are pretty light. Uh, again, you see I had to print it with a raft. This is with the supports. Uh, these supports are on here. Wow, wow, that's pretty tight. Um, I'm going to have to carve that off of there, I think. Ah, I can get most of it off. Let's see. I have a lot of this stuff laying around. It's support material. Lots and lots. There we go. And... It's 
kind of cool in some ways because it, it leaves a really neat texture on, on the bottom. Um, kind of that rough. I'm thinking about painting this. Um, the, the natural plastic is kind of cool, but uh, I mean, the real one's, you know, white and black and all scorchy. I got great pictures of the first one uh, after it had come back when it was down in Florida. Uh, we saw it. I remember, I think it was STS 135 launch when I was down there. The last space shuttle launch. It might have been 134. No, it was 135. Um, so, uh, clean that up a little bit. Take out the, uh, yes, the trusty pocket knife. And uh, carve some of the rest of that cruft off of there. Yes, I said cruft. up a little bit. Probably can I have to get my vacuum cleaner out. So the, the, the supports all print uh, back and forth and left and right and then the the, the thing all prints uh, and round and round and round and round as you saw in the beginning of the of the time lapse video. And uh, this stuff over here. So uh, I, I don't know if I'll paint it or not. If I if I paint it, you know, I'm gonna have to then probably take a torch to it so it looks right. But uh, I have actually a walk-around video, uh, I'll put a link to that in the comments, um, that I did of the uh, actual f uh, first uh, Dragon vehicle. Uh, b before it had gone to the space station, the first test, the first, uh, test flight, uh, they had it down at Kennedy. And uh, so I've got some reference material. So there we are. The, the, you can even see the here the... Uh, all that the rocket jets, the attitude control thrusters, uh, little ports for those things. They, oh, they just came out great. This is so cool. All right. Dragon capsule. I'm going to print the trunk and the solar rays uh, at some future point, And um, we'll actually uh, show you that, too. And then we'll have the whole thing together. And I'll have a model about this big. It's going to be so cool. All right. Have fun with the MakerBot. I'm having a great time, as you can probably tell. <laughs>